We are in a sideways range in Bitcoin. I'm looking at Coinbase prices initially. They're all pretty much the same sideways range though. In if we take this high to low, this most recent swing lower, we got rejected at the 618. We've bounced once off the 236 fib. So 6,200, 6,220 becomes quite important support for this one short term. And if we break 6,220, we've already got three touches of this trend line down here. We're going to test it again. It's around 6,100. And I'm going to say that below 6,100, we need a big fat alert on this trend line because that's the breakdown of our triangle consolidation, our wedge consolidation that we've been waiting for. I'm going to look at a couple of brokers to show you that these prices, although the FIB levels are different at different exchanges, these prices are all pretty much the same deal. So if we go back to uh, Bitcoin at Bitfinex, which is, um, uh, here we go, Bitcoin dollar Bitfinex, because when we incorporate our spike, we've still got the same, you know, range trade that we're in. This is our daily chart of Bitcoin dollar at Bitfinex. Our trend line support is a little bit lower, but the price here of where we hit this trend line is still 6,100 there or thereabouts. So if we drop below 6,240 at Bitfinex, which are these prior lows, 6,240, or really 6,220 for this prior low at the same, uh, then we're going to hit last line of support around 6,000. 100, 6,070. So although the exchanges are slightly different with the fibs and everything, the support levels are the same. 6,200, 6,100, and then look out below. And we'll talk in a minute about where we go when we break the lows. If we go to Bitstamp, I haven't been to Bitstamp for a while. Might have to have a bit of tidy up here, but we can see that the same parameters are gonna be in play. We'll take that away. Okay. So here's our trend line support. We've got three touches. If we do it with three touches of our trend line support, then the support's a little bit higher. If we widen it out so that we've just got these two touches here, then 6,113 is our trend line. So same thing, 6,100 there or thereabouts. And the prior support that potentially here is at 6,200. So every exchange has the same pattern. 6,200, 6,100, we're really in trouble in Bitcoin. So let's go back to the weekly chart of Bitcoin and we'll look at where we're going. We've got um, underneath this 618 fib, I'm afraid we're looking at 4,300 next, which is the next uh, big fib support. If we take a look at this week, this these these previous levels. So for example, this 50% at 9,900, you can see that it was support the first time we bounced off it on the weekly. We bounced off it for two weeks and then when we got underneath it, it was resistance. If we look at this 618, although we had a really nasty probe underneath it, we couldn't close below it. And you know, 618 levels are messy. I can tell you that 786 levels though are sharp. So if we do see a nasty drop, that is one of those levels where it's unlikely to spike too much below, or you know, or it's not very likely to close below it at all, uh, for sure. But 4,300 if these lows go around 5,800. So just watch out, you know, it's been very quiet in Bitcoin for a very long time, you know, very quiet sideways trading, bunched up moving averages, whenever you see that, it usually precedes quite a volatile move. And so I think we could be setting up a volatile move and we kind of need to protect ourselves at the moment. It's trading really heavily. So I certainly wouldn't be long anything more than I need. I wouldn't have anything more in Bitcoin that wasn't hedged that I needed unless I needed it to be, you know, trading altcoins. That's how I kind of see it. Okay, so let's talk about Ethereum. We'll just talk, talk about these. Uh, Dean's, you know, for me, Ethereum is still in that very, very tight uh, range in between the 20 and the 50 moving average and right in the middle of wedge consolidation. I really don't, you know, flip a coin here. Um, I really don't like to 
diddle in the middle, as they say, uh, in in the middle of a range like this. You, I, you could flip a coin for which way it will go next, I, because I really don't know. We have to wait for a breakout. If we see this on a four hour, we can, you know, well, I've drawn it like this two days ago and we're still in the range. So let's see. Um, so is F euro close to its last support on Bitstamp, Dean says. F euro on Bitstamp. That was a really nasty spike, wasn't it? I'm going to ignore this volatility spike here. And I would say, you know, it's holding the daily moving averages pretty nicely. They're all bunched up together. We've got, I wouldn't say it's the last line of support. No, I would not say it's the last line of support. I would ignore this spike and I would connect the lows like this. Okay, and we're not. There, if we take the lowest low, which is here, I would say, no, we're not close to it. We're in the middle of wedge consolidation in F euro, F, bit, F dollar, in F really. We're just in the middle, nothing doing. So we could be patient, you know, and when it's like this on the daily, you know, only really a break of the highs will be good enough to say I'm going higher. And if we draw that in F euro, this is going to be the 50% level here and these highs. That's our 50%. So here's our very narrow short term sideways range defined above 187.50, 187.60. F euro is along and at, 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 for our close below 182, back to the bottom of the range. So...